Welcome back to your source for learning accents. Today, our focus is the Russian accent. And we've got a very special guest who's not only going to help us with that accent, he is going to help us sift through the problems facing America today. His views are a little extreme, but listen to them and then you do your critical thinking and put yourself in the situation if you were in charge. How would you navigate the murky waters that we're facing today as a nation? Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the former leader of the USSR, he industrialized them. He brought them through World War II and he led the Great Purge, Joseph Stalin. Why have free markets when you could have plant markets? If I were in charge, I would take away individualism. America needs strong, centralized government to do the sinking for them. That is what I would do. The land of opportunity, bah, too much opportunity. America does have a lot more freedoms than other places around the world. And that breeds a mindset of individualism. But that also leads to innovation. The things America is responsible for inventing to progress our society forward is pretty remarkable. But it can lead to, as Stalin says, a lot of chaos. Social media. A lot of people are so polarized or pursuing their own personal gain for the wrong reasons. They want attention. They want their 15 minutes of fame. They're selling out to products that may not be healthy for the world and the school systems. They seem to be losing control of the students. And a lot of students come out of the education system more confused than when they got in. That is right. So Stalin, if you're saying that America's freedoms are too much of a good thing, what would you do to fix it? Fix it? Simple. Nationalize everything. Businesses, factories, land, private property, gone. The state owns everything. No more billionaires taking everything while the proletariat suffers nothing. I don't know, Stalin. As we both know, Americans love living in a country where they can take as big a piece of pie as they want and as many as they want. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. It may not be a big piece, but at least it is a piece for everyone. But Joseph, America is built on innovation, entrepreneurship, competition. Wouldn't removing all these things destroy creativity? That is nonsense. Americans living their whole lives trying to keep up with the chances. It is fruitless. No way everybody has perfect bone structure in fluffy skin. If you try for that, you end up displaced. We must flatten the incentive to try to become what you can never become. Unity comes not from pushing other people away at Black Friday sale. It does not come from overindulging in home buffet and costing taxpayers billions of dollars for chronic diseases and constant pharmaceutical drugs as health deteriorates. But stop. Look at the inevitable coming of robots. If we stuck to your five point plans, we wouldn't have these innovators in the Silicon Valley coming up with new ways to create artificial intelligence that is going to help cure diseases, do medial tasks that we don't have to do anymore, leaving us free to embark on our own creative ventures. Think of it. Right. What good is creativity when people are starving? The homeless in the streets are not creating masterpieces that save the world. I created a Soviet powerhouse from order and discipline. You need a five-year plan as I did, not Silicon Valley dreamers to try to change the world with their innovation and individualism. Think of the coming war when the robots take over and annihilate the humans. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to throw you a hardball now. Ah, the baseball metaphor. 
I like the baseball. Your reign had some downsides, to put it lightly. The Great Purge. An estimated 700,000 executed. Millions in prison. The NKVD operations. Mass arrests without due process. This led to widespread fear. In the repression, silencing artists and intellectuals with the threat of violence. You cannot run a strong state without making hard decisions. America should also make hard decisions. Cut out the weak links. Americans' two-party system weakens the whole nation. Social media and fake news make people polarity against each other. I get it. It's become blatantly obvious you're not a fan of free speech. You think? Free speech is dangerous. It is weakening the whole nation. People listening to 24-hour news driven by profits. Their favorite social media influencer, celebrities. It is out of control and utter nonsense. So we become disciplined, more united under your reign. That's your vision. That is my vision. So there you have it. Joseph Stalin's view for a better America. Centralized control. Discipline. No more fake news. What do you think? Do you agree with anything he said? Do you prefer a more democratic approach? Think through the issues. Tap into those critical thinking skills. And in addition, if you want more help with the Russian accent, click right there on that video. That'll take you a long way. Make a comment. I want to get some feedback and open up a dialogue. We need more of that in this country. My gosh, we've become so polarized. Stalin had it right when he said that. But what can we do to unite for a better America? Like the video, subscribe, and always remember, I love you. Fucker.